Item number SCP-3593 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Reports of missing dogs in coastal cities in England are to be triangulated and investigated for possible undiscovered SCP-3593 instances. If any are discovered, they are to be contained using Foundation-trained dogs as bait. Description SCP-3593 is a large green cameraland inhabiting various towns on the shores of England. SCP-3593 has a wingspan of approximately 2 meters, about twice the size of non-anonymous green camelands, and preys on domesticated dogs. In cloudy weather, SCP-3593 attempts to lure stray and pet dogs into secluded areas of the shore using shrill calls. SCP-3593 produces holographic images by fluttering its wing feathers, which have caught needle hazardous effects on some of the dogs, while only causing mild dizziness in humans. Dogs affected by the caught needle hazard display increased excitability and the capability to swim for greatly extended periods. At this point, SCP-3593 will fly away from shore, leading the affected dogs to swim after it. No dogs, living, dead, or otherwise, have been recovered thus far. Addendum after narrowing down the usual hunting grounds of SCP-3593, several Foundation testing dogs were equipped with miniaturized cameras, tracking devices, sensors, and assorted devices, and allowed to be lured by SCP-3593. K-9119, an old English sheepdog, was affected and followed SCP-3593. K-9119 returned safely to shore approximately six hours after leaving, unharmed but exhausted, and was provided standard treats upon retrieval of its camera. K-9119's camera showed it swimming westward after an SCP-3593 for about three hours before SCP-3593 hovered in place and made a loud squawking sound. A luminescent portal began to open near SCP-3593 and K-9119 as the form was continued to focalize. Through the portal, through the portal, the camera briefly glimpsed a brightly lit river lined with trees. The camera showed SCP-3593 continued to widen the portal until the process was interrupted by the consumption of SCP-3593 by the large passing shark. K-9119 then swam back to shore. SCP-3593 is tentatively reclassified as neutralized. Item number SCP-3786 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Entity is entirely immobilized within the former Langu Bioweapons Laboratory facility due to its sheer mass and locomotive limitations. It is to be fed twice daily with 250 kilograms of starch and protein mixture with nutritional ratios adjusted accordingly. Medical and behavioral checkups must be conducted once every six months by a Foundation cryptozoologist. Description SCP-3786 designates an amorphous mammalian organism located within the former Langu Bioweapons Laboratory facility near Beep in the Heilongjiang province of China. Due to its sheer size, detailed measurements of the organism's size and weight have been impossible. Ground penetrating radar and thermal imagery estimate that it occupies the entire first floor of the facility along with an undetermined number of its sub-basements with an estimated weight of beep kilograms. Despite its physical abnormalities, SCP-3786 is genetically identifiable as a domestic dog. Unlike non-anonymous dogs, SCP-3786 is primarily characterized by its ability to rapidly reconfigure its skeletal, muscular, and organ tissues to fill available space. 
This functions as its main mode of locomotion through the facility, as it generates and retracts its mass. Owing to the extraordinary metabolism rate required for this activity, SCP-3786 maintains a constantly high body temperature of 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. Periods of high activity, such as when giving chase to prey, can cause its temperature to spike even higher, to the extent of heating its habitat's surroundings to a recorded high of 87 degrees Celsius. SCP-3786 is believed to be moderately intelligent and self-aware of its anomalous of properties. Upon an initial encounter, it was observed using its knowledge of the facility's extensive tunnels and ventilation systems to ambush Foundation agents, retreating from sight when observed. When the opportunity arises, SCP-3786 can attack by manifesting its head and delivering powerful bites to place flanks or the throat, causing death within seconds or minutes. However, it seems to avoid using this method, likely due to the possibility of exposing its single head to harm. Instead, most prey is incapacitated by strangulation via engulfing, a process that spares more mobile or aggressive prey, but seems to be more energy efficient for SCP-3786. The exact origins of SCP-3786 are unknown. The Long Gu Bioweapons Laboratory facility was known to have been constructed sometime between 1936 and 1941, under the supervision of the Imperial Japanese Army's Anomalous Matters Examination Agency. Following the occupation of Manchuria, Surviving files indicate that the facility was known to the Imperial Japanese Army as a canine breeding and training facility, albeit with certain special logistical requirements. A 1942 invoice detailed the delivery of sealed marine organism tissue samples, 300 Congolese dog eggs, and 200 liters of redacted. The facility appears to have been unknown to Chinese authorities until 1961, when a review of the classified war documents revealed the existence of previously unknown Imperial Japanese Army facilities surrounding Haobin. Investigating the ruins, the first contact team likely encountered SCP-3786 shortly after entering the main laboratory building. The remains were not found by the backup containment team. Establishing a regular supply of nutrition has since significantly calmed SCP-3786's aggressive tendencies. When well-fed, SCP-3786 is largely sedentary, enjoying the occasional chasing of small mammals leased into the containment area. Since then, SCP-3786 has been effectively domesticated through extensive interactions with Foundation cryptozoologist and responds to the name Xiaobang. Item number SCP-4464 Anomaly Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Space flight experiments involving canines are to be terminated by Foundation assets through any means necessary. All satellite photos of the far side of the moon are to be filtered for potential evidence of SCP-4464-1 and photos of the inner solar system are to be similarly filtered for evidence of SCP-4464-2. Description SCP-4464 is an anomaly affecting all juvenile canines not significantly affected by Earth's gravity. The anomaly has two primary effects. Approximately 30 seconds after entering low gravity, affected canines will no longer require food, water, or oxygen, and will no longer produce waste. Following the onset of these changes, the growth rate of an affected canine will increase dramatically. While the exact scale of this increase is difficult to measure, it is estimated to be several orders of magnitude beyond normal growth. This growth continues for the normal duration of the affected canine's adolescence until it reaches an age at which it is fully developed. Thus, the amount of growth is relative to the age of the canine prior to their being affected. Fully grown canines experience no effects from SCP-4464. SCP-4464-1 is a male Neonberger 
Note, a large breed of dog known for its large size, thick coat, and friendly demeanor, currently located on the far side of the moon, standing approximately 1.1 kilometers tall. It spends the majority of its time sleeping, though it occasionally throws and then chases a large rock, presumably for entertainment. Approximately once per month, SCP-4464-1 will perform motions indicating it is attempting to howl, though no sound is produced due to the lack of atmosphere. SCP-4464-2 is a female Leon Burger currently located in the approximate orbit of the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It measures an estimated 55 kilometers tall and is currently curled in a sleeping position. No movement has been detected since observation began. Orbiting SCP-4464-2 of four smaller objects, believed to be Leon Burger puppies, measuring approximately 15 meters tall, a collectively designated SCP-4464-3. No individual movement has been observed in these objects. Investigations into who originally sent SCP-4464-1 and 2 into space are currently in progress.